Hello, welcome to Let's Play Star Stable. Stacy here, in for Pinta on Thundersong, who we've recently brought into the game from the Star Stable Horses app. And I really, really want to check out the new horse that's in the game, the Akulteke, because I thought they were really funny looking horses. And then when you see them in the game, you realize that their uniqueness is very beautiful. It's very striking. It's not too far off from my love, the Lusitano. <laughs> with the thin, the, the sleek look. They look super elegant. So I wanted to come in and see the three that are in the game now, get to know them, read about them. I like how they're head shaking back and forth a little bit. And maybe we'll take one home today. We have to see. So there's one currently in Fort Pinta. Uh, they are 850 star coins each. And we're going to read a little bit about them. If you want to skip ahead and you don't want to read about the Akulteke, that's fine. I always find this bit super interesting and I always learn a little something about the horses. It is known as the Golden Horse, with a sleek body evoking the cheetah, a fine coat that can take on a metallic sheen, and a lineage 3,000 years old. The Akulteke is without a doubt one of the most exotic and cherished horse breeds in the world. The Akulteke breed was honed by the nomadic tribes of Tur Turkmenistan, who used the horse for raiding and needed a horse capable of enduring the harsh climates of the Karakum Desert. Karakum? In the 19th century, Turkmen rode their horses in a valiant defense against the invading Russian soldiers. While the Turkmen could not stop the march of the Russian Empire, their amazing horses so impressed the Russian general that he created the first stud book and renamed the breed the Akul Teke after the Akul Oasis and the Teke tribe who lived there. Today, there are only around 6,000 Akul Tekes in the world. That seems very small. Mostly in Russia and their native Turkmenistan, where the horses are a national treasure. The Akulteke has a svelte body that is athletic without being overly muscular. Even more striking is the breed's fine coat, which com combined with the cream gene can result in an otherworldly metallic shimmer. Their hair is so fine that many Akultekes have little mane and no forelock at all. You may have noticed that his mane's a little bizarre here. <laughs> Famous for its endurance, the Akulteke is an excellent all-around sport horse, competent at dressage, racing, and even show jumping. You can expect your Akulteke to be an alert and sensitive companion. Like the Arabian, the Akulteke is a hot-blooded breed uniquely suited for life in the desert. Whether you're looking for a partner to race over rocky deserts or strut in the dressage arena, you'll be sure to stand out from the pack with a rare and majestic Akulteke. The golden horse is truly a horse to treasure. I think it's beautiful, and this coat specifically is just stunning. There are two more to check out. They are located at the vineyard, so let's head over there and take a peek. I realize now that I must have left off at a very important part of the game because Silverglade Village looks like it's on fire with pink. So the first one we saw was the Perlino. This is the sooty buckskin, and there's also a bright buckskin. I don't know. I think this one, I don't have any horse that looks like this at all. <laughs> so that's kind of amazing. The Perlino seems very classic to me. Um, there's also the bright buckskin over here. Not my favorite, but his face. Is this, look at his face. It's beautiful. Wow, I did not expect to like this one so much in the game, if I'm honest. I really thought this would be my least favorite, but he looks stunning. Oh my goodness, how am I supposed to decide? This is like almost a Lusitano situation where I just need to own them all. Hey. Hey. Okay. Okay. Enough goofing off. I think we need to bring one home. I'm leaning towards this one, but the Perlino is so classic and the bright one is so bright. Ooh. Oh, how am I supposed to pick? How am I supposed to pick? Allow me to introduce you all to Peach Tea. That's right, I chose the Perlino. I wanted to have a horse with the unique shine. Ooh, shimmer. Uh, but let's be honest, I really want the other ones as well. Um, to go from a horse that I was not sure about, that I thought was super odd looking, to now I want all of them, 
is kind of amazing. Look at it, it's so fancy. I didn't even realize her tail was so like long and thin. Um, I'm interested to see what she looks like with other main styles though. So we're gonna do that first. Oh, so striking. Let's see. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, that must be unique to that, to the, oh. That's cute. Oh, I like it with long hair, but I always like long hair. I wonder if I should keep it short, kind of reminiscent of the breed itself. That one's super cute. What's the tail look like? Oh, I don't want to lose the tail. I love the tail. Okay, I might keep it as it is for now and see how I like it, but there are some other options that I think are super cute. Now, we are gonna go check out Linda's new jumping saddle. I guess it's not her saddle, I guess it's Rex Stamper's saddle <laughs> and tack. But see if there's something that looks really good on Peach Tea. All right, let's see what we've got. The pink, of course, the pink looks beautiful. The green looks beautiful. I think anything you put on this horse is going to look beautiful simply because it's a very neutral color. Um, but fantastic. Uh, amazing. Okay. I mean, I'm leaning towards black. I have a lot of black though. Should I pick something else? How did these go? So we will get a matching bridle and saddle. You can get it with or without the nose band. I think I like with the nose band. But it almost looks sometimes like it's too much for their face. It has a it has a very slender face and a small nose. So it almost looks like it's too much with the nose band. Turn around. Oh, cause that one looks super pretty without. Okay, so it's gonna vary <laughs> for me depending on the bridal. Oh. I really like the champagne set. The pink, I don't have anything pink. The pink set is actually slightly cheaper uh, so that more players have options. Uh, 45 star coins and the green one, the other colors are 90 because they have swiftness plus three. Okay, I've purchased the champagne because I like it so much. I knew I wanted that one without a doubt. So now we have to see, I think it's gonna be the black. All right, I've chosen the walnut saddle and bridle without the nose band and the champagne saddle pad and leg wraps and she looks ready to rock. <laughs> so let's do a race and see how she does. Oh no, I meant to click Sophia. Yes, Sophia, I would love to race. Thank you. Oh, turn! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> turn! I forgot that she's level 1. I just rode around on Thundersong, who's level 10, came into the game level 10. Um, but now we slowed down a bit with our level 1 horse. track we survived <laughs> but then I think we need to figure out what's going on in Silverglade I'm very uh, nicely written games uh, very stressed out that there's stuff going on over there and <laughs> we're not helping oh my gosh people are panicking things are happening bad things are happening oh no okay councilman fill us in Cadence, thank goodness you're here too. Have you seen the awful things that have happened here in the village? It's a disaster. A catastrophe. Is this the beginning of the end? Is this the final doomsday? Is this how Silverglade and Yorvik is going to end? Swallowed in a hungry purplish pink glow? Is it Garnock who's threatening this now? Is Garnock finally going to get us all? Alex says that maybe we could still save the village from this disaster. Right? Right, Alex? There must be something you and your druid friends can do to save us. You have to save us. I will, I will see. 
Calm down, Councilman. Just relax. We should be able to figure out a solution before the world blows up. But we have to hurry. Something has really woken Garnock's fury. And I suspect it's the result of the foolish things those clods from Dark Core have been messing with. That's right, we were on the Dark Core platform last episode. What did you say, Cadence? The Shadow Seeker vacuum cleaner? The witch? Tell us what your plan is. Your idea of using the Shadow Seeker vacuum cleaner might just work. Ride over to Pi, the witch, and ask her if you can borrow that Shadow Seeker vacuum cleaner thingy. I'll stay here and try to protect the villagers and hold the Pandoric powers under control the best I can. Hurry, Cadence. Time is short, and I'm not sure how long I can hold the power back. As long as there is life, there is hope. Uh, where do we go to Pi? Do we go into her hut, or is she back above the... Hmm... She must be back at her hut, because she was up above Jasper for a while. Hey, there's a spider for our spider collection. I did actually record starting the spider collection, but it's in like a video that I didn't finish and haven't posted. But I should do that. Oh, we made it. Hello, are we going to have that lunch we spoke about the other week? I have crab legs with boiled frog claws and poached snake eyes. No, is that not good enough for you? My, but you're pale. You look like you haven't seen daylight for years. I'm just on the computer a lot, okay? Oh, a catastrophic of catastro a catastrophe of catastrophic proportions in Silverglade Village. You want to use the Shadow Seeker vacuum cleaner? I have actually improved the Shadow Seeker vacuum cleaner a bit. Dust from the light sprites has made it extra magical, and I've made it stronger, both magically and mechanically. I fixed it and put spells all over it. But I'm going to need until tomorrow to get it ready. What? That doesn't work for you? No, uh, everyone is running rampant in Silverglade. It can't wait until tomorrow? There isn't enough time, as Silverglade Village might be gone. You young people are always in such a rush, and you make the smallest little thing sound so dramatic. Well, take the Shadow Seeker vacuum cleaner, but remember to handle it carefully. Here you go, Cadence. In addition to the magical improvements, I've also made the suction power of the Shadow Seeker vacuum cleaner stronger. Now you'll be able to pull in the Shadow Seekers from farther away. Fantastic, right? You might not be able to grab the strongest ones, but you should be able to get most of them before they get too close to you. There, now you can run off and save Silverglade. Just don't stand around here doing nothing. It was you who was in a rush, my friend. And good luck. Remember that the Shadow Seeker vacuum cleaner needs to be emptied and neutralized every now and again. The Druid Avalon can probably handle that. I'm sure he can, thank you. Alex, we have it. Oh, she's got a bubble up. There you are, Cadence. Come into my protective sphere and help me. Uh, or bubble. <laughs> I can't hold it back much longer. We are lost. My powers are fading. The Pandoric energy is too strong and will break through soon. You have the Shadow Seeker vacuum cleaner with you? That might save us. Hurry up and use it to catch all the Shadow Seekers. There's still some hope. You can leave Peach Tea with me. We're safe here until you run around with the Shadow Seeker vacuum cleaner. Shadow Seeker Vacuum Cleaner, Shadow Seeker Vacuum Cleaner. Okay, PhD, you're new, so ah! You stay there. I will. <laughs> it's like Ghostbusters. Love it. I'm still wearing it. Do I have to drag and drop it again? Or do we just click? It'd be nice if we could just clip them. Sir, I've got you. Do not worry. The ducks seem fine, at least. Derek's doing well. He's safe in his hut, building, post office. It's definitely a post office. Get out of the way, sir. I'm trying to save you. Ah, there's one. Threatening Big Bonnie. Not Big Bonnie, she's a friend of mine. Huh, I knew you would save us. Now that we've gotten rid of the immediate threat from those horrible shadow seekers that are frightening everyone, there is only those awful cracks left to deal with. Where can I buy one of those vacuum cleaner thingies? I really want one of my own. I don't think that's how it works. Phew, that was a close one. But now the village is free from those horrible shadow seekers at any rate. 
You can hear them inside the tube where they are held captive by the light spirit dust. Simply amazing. What I was doing? Oh, that's just a little lightning circle protective magic. My soul rider power is, as you probably already know, based on the lightning circle. But more on that later. Now we can try to figure out how to close those cracks because they cause more damage or release more awful shadow seekers. The only one who can help us with that is Fripp. You need to ride to Fripp and ask for his advice. If anyone can help us, it's him. Stay here. I'll stay here and keep an eye on the situation and do my best to prevent the cracks from releasing any more shadow seekers. Please hurry. There he is. Fripp, we need your help. Welcome back to my time, kids. Oh, really? Pandora cracks? Oh, my worlds. It has really broken loose properly this time. We had hoped that the crack you closed in Golden Hills Valley was a one-off, but no! It seems it was only the start of something much worse. You're right, this is the result of Dark Core's malicious activities. They have clearly upset the already delicate balance between Pandoria and our known reality. The so-called Garnock effect has begun. May Aideen be with us. The Garnock effect has to be prevented. We can't stop it yet, but you could help us with the immediate threat and stall the Garnock effect. To close off the Pandora cracks in Silverglade Village, you'll need to use the magical powers of the Lightning Circle. Are you ready to learn about the Lightning Circle? Listen to me, Cadence. The Lightning protects against sickness, witchcraft, and malevolent magic. By mastering the power of the Lightning, you can defend yourselves, yourself against certain magic used against you. For a soul rider, the legendary lightning power has two main characteristics, a defensive kind used to ward off evil magic and a strong offensive kind called soul strike. The lightning circle is the traditional path of the warrior. With strong power comes great responsibility. The lightning circle demands great wisdom of its members. The druids know that you're very unique as you have mastered powers from all four circles, even if you're not fully aware of it yet. Now I will teach you how to use the power of the Lightning Circle to close the Pandora cracks and save Silverglade Village. As you train with the powers of the Lightning Circle, you will become more effective and experienced with using these powers. The exercise you will perform now is similar oh, okay, to what you will need to do to close the cracks in Silverglade Village. A kind of simulation, if you like. I'm going to open a weakened version of a crack between our reality and Pandoria. But this is not something that should be done lightly. This is what you'll need to do. Get off your horse. Stand close to the pink glow and neutralize the magic defenses of the crack between the Shadow Seeker vacuum cleaner. Using the Shadow Seeker vacuum cleaner. That machine is perfect for this job. After neutralizing the defenses, watch for blue star-shaped sparks. They can be hard to see in the pink glow, so watch carefully. Use your lightning circle powers to absorb the blue star sparks. Every time you succeed in absorbing a blue star spark, the crack loses some of its power. When it runs out of power, the crack will close and the portal will disappear. If you, fe if you, <laughs> if you fail to absorb enough sparks, the defensive power of the crack will recharge, and when it regains full power, you might never be able to close it again. Yikes. All right. Okay. Oof. All right. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Even though we might never be able to close it again, I feel like you should not entrust a rookie to do this. Okay. I've got my vacuum. I'm weakening the magic shield. I like it. Okay. Oh. Oh, here we click stars, right? I guess that's not one. Click the weekly visible blue stars when they're active. Continue until the Pandoric energy is used up. You need to succeed before the Pandoric energy reaches its maximum level. Well, give me some stars, please. Clickety click. I can't do anything if you don't give me stars. Try and be quick. Oh, one more. One more. One. You passed the test. Brilliant. For if I did it, are you proud of me? Look at that. You really do know how to harness the power of the lightning circle. You really are an extraordinary talent. You never disappoint us. Elizabeth was right about you.
The more you train in the powers of the Lightning Circle, the easier it will be for you to succeed in closing cracks between our worlds. In order for the Shadow Seeker Vacuum Cleaner to manage to disperse the defensive magic of the real Pandora cracks, Avalon will have to help you to strengthen the power of the Shadow Seeker Vacuum Cleaner. He should be able to do this by using the magic of the Shadow Seekers that you already sucked up in the machine in Silverglade. Go to Avalon in Veildale Village and tell him everything so that he can help you. Thanks for it. I got an achievement? With the frip? Oh, take a selfie with frip! <laughs> I got an achievement for taking a picture with frip, that's great. Hmm, very interesting. Pandora cracks. This is not good at all. Didn't I say this wasn't good at all? But you have a plan, and I will help you by improving the Shadow Seeker vacuum cleaner. Using the strength of the captured Shadow Seekers, I have strengthened the device, so you should be able to use it to close down all the cracks in Silverglade, and maybe more. If you use it a lot, you might have to come back to me to empty and neutralize the Shadow Seeker vacuum cleaner again. Now ride off to Silverglade Village and close all the cracks with your new Lightning Circle powers. Don't forget. First, weaken the defensive power of the crack using the Shadow Seeker Vacuum Cleaner, and then neutralize the blue remains with your abilities until you have absorbed all the energy and forced it to close. Understood. Good luck. Okay, we are going to try closing the first real crack. See how it goes. We're weakening it. Look out, Peach Tea. Okay, now we look for the blue stars. I wonder if it's going to be trickier because this one is real. Ooh, I almost missed that one. Yikes. Left. Left. Yes. Okay, we did, it. We did one. Derek is safe. <laughs> he succeeded in closing the crack. We've cleared out all the cracks and now Silverglade is almost back to normal. That was epic. Thank you, Cadence. You really performed a miracle today. You saved us from what was probably no. You saved us from what probably would have been the end of the world. Do you understand what an amazing hero you are? I do now. Okay, my friends, we are not out of the woods yet. There is still so much more to do, but we've run out of time. I really appreciate you joining me today. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe. And when you subscribe, you can turn on the little bell notification so that you know when my videos get posted, because sometimes it's easy to miss videos. It happens all the time. So don't forget the little bell, too, and thank you so much. It means so much to me when you guys tune in. I love reading your comments each time I post. It's so exciting, and I will see you next time. Bye!